With the arrival of the new millennium, the Russian Federation focused on replacing its Soviet aircraft with new, more powerful examples. Based on the Su-27 and MiG-29 fighters, the Sukhoi Design Bureau developed an aircraft that they say will propel the Russian Air Force into the future. Thus was born the Sukhoi Su-57, an air superiority fighter with stealth technology, which represents the greatest advance in this matter in the history of Russia. Unveiled in 2020, the Su-57 is intended to be a direct competitor to the North American F-35 Lightning II, although it is also often pitted against the impressive F-22 Raptor, considered the best stealth fighter ever created. But, will the Russian aircraft be up to its American rivals? Join us in a new episode of Military Aviation to find out. Fans of combat aircraft will know that, in recent years, the air forces of the first world countries only have eyes for fighters with stealth capabilities. Although this technique is not fully developed, military industries have been working on it for decades. Originally this technology was applied to bomber aircraft traveling at high altitudes, which made it easier for the stealth design to work. Over the years, engineers were also encouraged to create fighters with the ability to evade radar, satellites and other devices to intercept aircraft. The first to achieve mass production were the Americans. Its crown jewel is the expensive F-22 Raptor, considered by many experts to be the ultimate stealth fighter. Over time, the F-35 Lightning II also arrived, a cheaper option but just as powerful. In a short time, the United States managed to gain an impressive advantage in terms of stealth fighter aircraft. It was a matter of time before the Kremlin got to work to catch up. The Russian Federation, listed in the world rankings as the second largest air force on the planet, could not sit idly by while its number one enemy stocked up on fifth-generation aircraft. But to move forward, Russia first had to look to its past. The genesis of the Sukhoi Su-57 began in the former Soviet Union. In 1979, a program called I-90 was launched, which sought to develop a new generation aircraft whose entry into service was scheduled for the year 2000. The intention was for this unit to fulfill a versatile role, suitable for the conditions of modern warfare. The fall of the Soviet regime put an end to this project, but not to the Kremlin's enthusiasm for a new combat aircraft. The I-90 was replaced by the PAC-FA program, which stands for Future Frontline Aviation System. Quite an eloquent name. E in 2002 a contest was held to decide which company would be in charge of this new project. Finally, the legendary Sukhoi was the winner, leaving behind heavyweight competitors like McCoyan. The design itself began only in 2010, when Russia established bilateral agreements with India to cover the cost of the project as a whole. The total amount was $12,000 million that were contributed equally between both countries. The new millennium, along with the rapid development of stealth technology, completely changed the rules of the game. The necessities of modern warfare left even the most futuristic Soviet dreams far behind. To make the task easier, Sukhoi based on two pre-existing aircraft, the Su-27 and the MiG-29. While these two heavy fighters are huge, the Russians are known to love planes that look like flying tanks. One of the most impressive details of the Su-57 is its arrow-shaped wings, which differentiate it from previous models such as the Su-35. But it's not just an aesthetic decision, that design contributes to the aircraft's impressive stealth capabilities. We'll delve into this later. Let's first see how big this flying beast is. The Su-57 has a length of 22 meters, a wingspan of 14.2 meters and a height of 6.05 meters. In each of its dimensions, it exceeds any American aircraft by at least 1 meter, and, in length, by up to 4 meters. In principle this is a problem as a larger target is easier to shoot down. But at the same time, having this towering flying machine chase you down in a dogfight must be terrifying. Do you think that the large size of this fighter can have an influence on the psychology of the enemies? Leave your opinion in the comments. 
Its power plant is made up of two Saturn Lielka AL41F2 turbofan engines, which provide the necessary energy to reach a maximum speed of 2,300 km per hour. Its flight ceiling is 20,000 meters, while its empty weight is 35,000 kg, with a payload of 10,000 kg. Its ferry range is 5,500 km and its operational radius is estimated to be half that distance. While the physical characteristics were clearly inherited from its massive Soviet grandparents, the Su-57's design placed particular emphasis on avionics, targeting systems, and stealth capability. Regarding aiming, like most current aircraft, the cockpit has a fully integrated system that can receive all kinds of useful information for the pilot through a data link system. The onboard computer will process everything it deems relevant and send it directly to the helmet's visor, which uses head-up display technology to show all the necessary data. Aiming works the same way, the pilot will be aware of the behavior of all ship systems without having to lose sight of his target. As for its avionics, the Su-57 integrates the GLONASS satellite navigation system in addition to the fly-by-wire, which allows the aircraft to be piloted with electronic controls. A novelty is the OEPS-27 optical sighting system, which works passively or silent, that is, without generating any type of trace, and was integrated to improve the stealth capacity of the ship. How effective the Su-57 is in a real combat situation remains to be seen, but on paper its stealth capability looks impressive. The materials used are low-density alloys, ideal for reducing the radar footprint at long distances. On the other hand, the plane's design also responds to these needs, and its slight resemblance to the North American F-22 Raptor has caused more than one suspicion of influence and even copying within the design. The fact that the Su-57 is Russia's first stealth-capable fighter doesn't help the Sukhoi engineer's alibi. Another element that adds to stealth is the ability to store weapons inside the fuselage of the plane, which considerably reduces the possibility of detection. The Su-57 has a 30mm GSH-301 cannon with 250 rounds of ammunition, in addition to 10 hardpoints prepared to carry the Vimpeler 33 air-to-air -air missiles. All tests with this new and potentially invisible Predator have been successful. Despite production delays, the Russian Federation is expected to start mass production of the Su-57 in the near future. A Soviet dream materialized in the XXI century. Thank you very much for joining us until the end. Stay tuned for our next video.